My name is Bonnie. I am a member of the live science team here at, at Bristol. We are in our live lab space where we can do experiments. At the moment, they're kitchen-based experiments for kitchen chemistry. We have our tables where we have um, activities out, but they vary based on the theme that we have in this space. We've done things from dissections to brains to making robots, um, investigating volcanoes. I think looking at the brains would have to be my favorite thing that I've done here so far because that's just something that you don't get to do every day. So welcome to our live lab space. Uh, we'll be doing some kitchen chemistry today and this specific lab bench that we're doing is dairy lab. And we're going to be doing something with cream and it's something that you could even try at home. So each person will get a bowl. And in each bowl we need to put some cream. So we have about 600 milliliters here, so if you want to measure 200 milliliters. So now we all have cream in our bowl. Roughly the same amount of cream, same bowl, same cream we started with. Um, so if we make some general observations, where do we get cream from? Um, milk, which comes from cows. How is it different from milk? Um, it's a bit more gloopy. It's a bit more gloopy, so a little bit thicker. Yeah. The reason that it's so much thicker, it's a little bit more fat than milk. So that fat that's in the cream is what makes it a little bit thicker. The more fat, the thicker it will be. So what we are going to do, we are going to mix our cream to see if we can make something else. You get to use our giant whisk. <laughs> Don't sound like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> or we can be a bit more sensible. So what we are going to do um, for a one minute period, we are going to whip up and mix our cream. Um, and then after a minute, we're going to stop and take a look to see how it looks. And then we'll sort of rotate through so you get a chance to use all of the instruments. And go. gloopy so it's thickened up a little yeah. bit. Um, does it look as smooth and as as it was before? No, no. Now what can we see? Loads and loads of bubbles. Loads and loads of bubbles. Now if we look at the, bubbles into it. Mm -hmm. So we've been whisking and getting bubbles. Yeah. Um, what's inside of those bubbles? Um, air. Air, that's correct. So what we're going to do now is switch um, instruments but we'll keep the same instruments with the same bowl. Yes. And go. We are making something that has come from milk, because it's going from butter. milk to cream, possibly butter. What do you think we could be making? Mm, I think it could be butter. I think we could be butter yeah, as well. Because, because um, you, start, you start with milk, you turn the milk into cream, and then if you put the cream in a jar with maybe a marble, and then shake it up um, really hard for a really, really, really long time, it turns into butter. And go. That's very yellow. I think I've almost made butter. Yeah, I've almost made butter. Because it's, it's got a liquid. So liquid yeah. butter. You noticed as you were mixing that there was something else in the bowl. What did you see? It's Our called liquid. butter and butter milk. The liquid is butter milk. Yes, that's correct. And that air separates out that fat from all of that liquid and clumps it together to make the butter. The next step is to drain out all of that buttermilk. Missy is good. Missy is good. If you want to give that a squeeze, just there at the bottom. Okay. Keep squeezing. Oh, that's okay. Way. There we go. <laughs> so now, we have some butter. Oh, wow. The yellow color is natural vitamin A that you find in butter. Vitamin A is good for growth and development, as well as your vision. Um, it contains some essential molecules that are used for your color vision in particular. And the best part is, is that if you ever at home and you find your fridge empty, no butter, but there is a tub of cream, all you need to do is whip it up four or five minutes later and you have some butter for your toast. Fantastic. Well, that's pretty amazing. 